Segway took the two-wheeled world by storm with a Segway PT. I'm sure nakakita na kayo ng ganito noon. Nakatayo ka with one wheel on either side of your feet. Meron siyang gyroscope, it is self-balancing, and it was one of the brands that used ride-by-wire first. This was way back 2001. Tagal na rin. Marami na rin mga owners and CEOs na dumaan. And now, ang latest owner ng Segway ay ang Ninebot. Dito, kita na natin ang bagong hugis ng Segway. May upuan, may headlight at mukhang full-blown e-scoot na talaga. This is the Segway E300 SE. Ang rated power ng E300 SE ay 10,000 watts. Meron itong top speed na 105 kph at 200 newton meters of torque. Ang timbang ng motor is 101 kilos minus the battery which is another 12.6 kilos. Ang kaya kargahan ng E300 SE is 150 kilos. Ang battery range natin sa garantipid eco mode will give you around 130 kilometers. Pero realistically speaking, in my case, sa timbang kong 180 pounds and walang paki mode, talagang sport lang, I got around 75 to 80 kilometers before need ko mag-charge ulit. So from empty, a full charge will need about 5.5 hours. Pwede na lumarga ulit. So one of the cool things that we have here is the anti-theft feature yeah. If you try to roll this thing out, it's gonna lock itself. Check this out. There you go. There's that padlock right there which means I can't move it. And it's gonna start freaking out with that sound. <laughs> and yun na yun. Nice, huh? Let's unlock it. Now, one of the highlights natin dito sa e-scoot na ito, I mean, as far as what we have in the industry, meron itong dual channel ABS. Right, there you have it. We we're taking a look at the Segway E300 SE. So first thing we're gonna take a nice close look at would be the seat. This is a really, really good seat. From the quality of the upholstery na ginamit nila, to the stitching that they use, to the little details like here on the side, you've got highlights of um, yellow and I think that is really, really nice. And also embedded on the side of the seat, it says here performance. Nice touch with that as well. Although I'd probably put the model perhaps as opposed to performance, but that's just me. If there's actually anything here that I would say is kind of sticking out, <laughs> I think it would be the grab bar. If there would be some way to incorporate the grab bar within the fairings of a seat, perhaps an extension of the plastic over here. So you're gonna have your hands going under like a fairing here. So it's incorporated so it'll look as one. Right now, that bar looks just a bit, you know, out of place is not the word. It's just that it's sticking out. I have to commend them though. The quality of the bar is pretty spot on. The welds, that is very good welding right there. Ating grips naman dito. Interesting, may lao na kita ng gatong klasing grip. It's like a tapered off from small ridges na palaki ng palaki papunta dito. And ergonomically speaking, kakaiba siya. 
It reminds me of uh, Sagrada Familia, that church in Spain. Parang ganyan eh, very organic looking. Gusto ko rin batiyan ng ating console dito. I think this is also in great shape. This is just slick and it goes with the vibe na ako ay futuristic e-scoot. The future is here. We're talking about electric. This just looks really, really very, very high tech. Our mirrors, it's pretty regular. But I'd say it's still better than the usual. But me, papalitan ko to. I'd probably put some aftermarket thicker, beefier looking mirrors. But that's just me. Right now, I'm gonna show you also the space that I have here. So I have to comment the spacing here as well. Kasi pag tinignan mo to sa gilid, parang anliit eh, di ba? A lot of the electric powered scooters that we have, parang anliit tignan, di ba? But look at this. Look at how they designed the leg shed. This is a lot of space here from my knee to the leg shield. This is a lot of space, I'm telling you. Ibang gasoline powered natin na scooters na mas malaki pa nga tignan dito. Ganyan na lang yung space sa akin eh. But this is nice and big and spacious and I have to say that's what proper design does. Turning radius natin because of my height and the length of my legs, tatama na ako dito. However, I get this with other scooters as well. Usually, gumigilid lang ako dito, umiiwas lang ako or iiwas ako palabas ng ganyan. And besides, when you turn naman, di ka naman naabot ng ganyan unless talaga nag u turn Kasi it's not really too much of a big deal. I'm just showing yung mga extremes. In terms of foot space, as you can see, I have my size 11 Rick and Morty slippers. And that's how much space you have. But the middle yung space natin. Very, very spacious. The gulay board is big. Our storage naman sa harap. So we got this going on there. So that's an S24 Ultra. Fits nice and snug. You got a charging port over here. USB po tayo. So you can charge your gadget. I would request maybe in future models na covered ito. There's like a little door over here that can cover your gadget from the elements. I think that would be really nice. Um, of course, that said, remember to get all the things that you need from here. Baka maiwan nyo. For sure, that is temptation para sa mga kupal sa mundo. Our busina. <coughs> We are not gonna turn on the bike because obviously, I'm super tahimik. One of the interesting things about the 300SE is its option for you to add more batteries. So, under the seat, oh, registered. Na siya. So, this is our charger, so it's pretty much straight up. This is the one that will connect to the scoot. At ito naman yung iko connect natin sa wall outlet for you to charge your battery. It would be good to lug this around. It's quite weighty. Para kami hawak na lumang lumang hard drive ng sinawon ng panahon. But because of the range, I guess it's safe for you to leave it home para mas magang yung scooter. So the advantage of being able to put an extra battery here is yung range. We are now rated at 130 kilometers sagad sagara. Now, just as a, a caveat, when we're talking about range, many factors, of course, body weight mo, di ba? And then how you ride it also, anong mode mo ginagamit. But it's good that you have an extra battery too. I think that's great. So we have someone approaching. Picture lang. Sige. I'm a huge fan, so <laughs> And wave to the camera. Hi. Enjoy. Yeah. So another highlight that we have, of course, and I'm ecstatic na ito na, di ba? Even in this range, dual channel ABS po tayo. And that is just super, that is great. Sana tuloy-tuloy na yan na wala nang option. Kailangan may ABS no matter what. For our tires, ang pinili ng Segway is uh, Maxxis tires. Size 12 po tayo. At the front, 170-12. Sa likod naman, 120-70-12. Kapal ng konti. Some of the things that I would improve on in terms of um, modification here and there with the performance pa I think yung shocks natin pwede tayo maglaro dito more sporty Mag, uh, maghahanap tayo ng shocks that's really perfect for your body weight I think that would be great I would get a uh, different type of grab bar probably customize it looks wise wala naman problema it's pretty great our side pegs press it pops out like so so a quick touch of the heel will open that up in terms of our space, taking a look again. Topping size 11 natin. 11 across. That's the size. How deep is this? Almost 11. So I'd say about 10 and a half width. Tapos 11 pa across. Tapos yung width natin would be 11. About 16. Full face would fit there if you didn't have any of those stuff. So one of the other cool things that we also have here for the Segway 300 SE is how you can bond with your phone 
through the Segway app. You can see what's going on with the scooter. Dapat naman yan. Dito na tayo sa future, di ba? We're talking about electric powered scoots and I'm really expecting na may ganun siyang capability meron tayong integration with app. And with the acquisition pa of 9bot, you know, uh, mataas expectations natin. Matinding 9bot. Sila yung new owners natin with Segway. So ano ang katipiran na makukuha natin with the E300 SE? What are the advantages financially? Sige, i-compare natin ito sa isang 150cc scooter na kaya mag 45 kilometers to a liter. Ang pag-uusapan natin dito is going to be a 10,000 kilometer range. Ano ang magiging konsumo natin sa dalawang scoot na ito pag ganyan na yung tinakbo natin? Sa De Gasolina, gagastos ka ng 14,500 pesos every 10,000 kilometers. Sa Segway E300 SE naman, gagastos ka ng 4,000 pesos. This is at 30 kilometers per kilowatt which is 12 pesos per kilowatt. Maintenance naman sa De Gasolina consumables like oil filters, spark plugs, tires, brake pads, yung oil din, gagastos ka ng about 13,000 pesos per year. Sa sa Segway, ang maintenance mo lang ay gulong, brake pads at diagnostics. For the year, it's gonna cost you about 5,000 pesos. So, sa ganyang senaryo, 9,000 pesos ka lang a year sa Segway. Tapos, 27,500 ka naman sa de gasolina na motor. That's a 67% savings right there. Magkano ang battery replacement na need mapalitan every 2 to 3 years? More or less, they average about 30,000 to 40,000 pesos per battery. If you are to change this every 2 3 years, in the end, mas tipid ka pa rin sa Segway E300 SE. Beyond the savings, ang isa pang importante dito ay zero emissions from your e-scoot. At syempre, wala na mas importante pa sa planeta natin. Future na talaga natin ng electric-powered vehicles. Dumadami na rin ang choices natin. And I can't wait for the day na makakarating ako sa pupuntahan ko na hindi ako amoy usok. Exciting times ahead indeed. Masusubukan nyo ang Segway E300 SE sa Test Ride Consortium alongside 75 other bikes na pwede nyong subukan. Try before you buy. Kasama din dyan yung Makina Moto Bazaar, a Moto Changa Experience. It is the industry's biggest moto accessory sale for the year. Yung ibang items natin up to 70% off. October 19 and 20 at the Bridgetown Destinations in Pasig. I will see you guys there. This is Zach from Makina Moto Features. Ciao!